Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial about how to use Grain Engine, uh, my new granular synthesis module. Now, granular synthesis meaning that it takes a sample and it splices it up into tiny little grains and it lets you kind of play those back in different ways. Um, before we begin, I've got a more traditional sample player here so you can hear the raw sample that I'll be using. What you, if you could, Maybe a turn just a few of those miserable pages back. To try to change what is. So I recommend using pretty short samples with this. You're going to get the best effect from those. So let's get it. Get rid of these guys. All right. And so we're going to load in a sample into the grain engine. Same one. And we're going to want to spawn this. Um, the first thing you want to hook up. Oh, hook up the outputs, I suppose. And after that, you're going to need to spawn it, um, spawn these little grains. And in this case, we're going to want to use a pretty quick uh, square wave. So we're going to use a VCO instead of an LFO. So I've got this VCO over here. We're going to use, pull the square wave output and go into the spawn. Oh, it buzzes. So like you can really hear right now. And there's two reasons for that. One is because you really need to switch up the position to get some sound out of it. And you're going to also want to crank up that length of the grain. So we're going to use the grain, the length multiplier here to get more longer grains. There we go. So the position does this. Let me turn this down for a second. <coughs> Unlike a normal sample player, the sample doesn't play for you. You're really in control of the position yourself. And this gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want to kind of scan through that sample, whether you want to do it linearly, linearly <laughs> edit that, or if you want to modulate it as you're going along. So let us throw a little LFO in there, triangle wave, turn the volume back up. What? Cool. So let's play around with the spawn rate a little bit. Really low spawn rate is going to give you kind of a crusty sound. So that's a little bit of like ghosts with a really high spawn rate. In this case, it's a low spawn rate. Let's crank that up. Now, if you crank this up way high and you choose really long grains, you have to be careful because the um, CPU is going to peak up. As you can see here, it caps out at like 400 grains, but you might just want to kind of keep an eye on it, kind of tune it in. Whoa! It's exciting. All right, back to this tutorial. So the jitter knob here, jitter adds a little bit of noise to the position input. Really, I don't need to have it here because you could use an adder and you could use a noise generator. But it's really convenient. So, um, <coughs> what else do we have? Amplitude slope. There's about 10 different slopes that can be applied to the amplitude of the grains, and they all sound pretty similar. The main goal is to keep the, um, kind of to ramp up and ramp down the amplitude when the grain's playing so it doesn't clip. That's an interesting sounding one. Here's some tone difference there. And then panning, um, And it's kind of what it sounds like, but there's a couple of things you might want to be aware of. So you can see my LFOs right now set to z 0 to 10. I want that to be maybe negative 10 to 10 for my full range. And that's going to be a bipolar signal, which is I'm going to use the bipolar switch here. Bipolar meaning it's going negative on the voltage, so pull in the sine wave. And it's going from ear to ear. 
if I wanted to use like a sequencer I would want to go unipolar on that because these are going to be signals from 0 to 10 volts. And I'm going to clock that with my square wave that I'm using for my VCO just for some craziness. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough. Alright, and that's pretty much it for me talking. I'm going to goof around a little bit show you guys a little bit more but I'm gonna be mostly quiet
that's fine. 